Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. I'm Emily and today we're going to be reading Sheepdog and Sheep Sheep, written by Eric Barclay. Today's book features a breed known as the Old English Sheepdog. Sheepdogs were primarily used to drive sheep and cattle into the marketplace from the farm. So they're very big dogs because they're moving very big animals. So why don't we all get ready to read and learn a little bit about the friendship of Sheepdog and Sheep Sheep. This is Sheep, and she loves to dance. She knows all kinds of fancy dances, like the wildflower dance, the mud puddle dance, the get this spider get off of me dance, and of course, the pee pee dance. Dancing makes her very happy, and when she's happy, she closes her eyes, and when she closes her eyes, she bumps into things usually trees. But one day she bumped into something that wasn't a tree. It was a someone, a very hairy someone. Hello, holy begonia, she said. Who are you? I'm the sheepdog, the someone replied. I watch the sheep. Well, I'm a sheep sheep. I watch sheep too. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching sheep. I don't see how you can be much of a sheep watcher with all that hair in your eyes, but I can fix that for you. Be right back. She skipped off towards the farmhouse. Just then, Sheepdog spotted an eagle overhead. It was looking at sheep like a mouse looking at cheese. The eagle dived, but Sheepdog told him to vamoose. Sheep found Sheepdog waiting for her outside of the farmhouse, and she tied his hair into a pretty bow. Now you'll be able to see the sheep, she said, except you're still missing something very important. I'll be right back. Sheepdog looked around. It was true, he could see a little better with his hair pulled up. There was the shed and the apple tree and the coyote. Coyote! Sheepdog told him to skedaddle. Sheep returned with some binoculars. Here you go, she said. Now you'll be able to keep a sharp out eye out for eagles and coyotes. Now, I don't suppose you have a map under all this hair, do you? Sheepdog shook his head. No. Well, you're going to need a map so you won't get lost. I'll be right back. She danced her way toward the old truck to retrieve a map. The dance made her very happy. She closed her eyes, and because her eyes were closed, she couldn't see that. But Sheepdog did. Sheep kept on dancing. She had some extra fancy moves. Like most of Sheep's dances, this one ended with a bump on the head. But she had meant to do that, really. Sheep fished the map out of the old glove box and handed it to Sheepdog. You're all set. You've got a hair bow so you can see, binoculars to keep an eye out for danger, and a map so you won't get lost. Sheep thought for a moment. Now all we need are the sheep. She looked around, not a sheep in sight. She borrowed Sheepdog's binoculars, still no sheep. She unfolded the map. Yep, they were definitely in sheep country. Where are all the sheep, she asked. Did you lose them? You're the only sheep, Sheepdog said. Oh. Sheep sat down and thought about being only a sheep and not a sheep sheep. And when she thought, she got very still. And when she got still, she got very quiet thinking could do that. Finally, sheepdog spoke. Maybe you're not a sheep sheep, you're a dog sheep, and your job is to watch the dog. After a moment, sheep replied, well, of course, I'm a dog sheep. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching dogs. The end. Thank you so much for joining us for today's story. 
Stay tuned in a few weeks where we'll read another Sheepdog and Sheep Sheep book. Thank you so much and have a great day.